I'm David Bailey of Bailey B Supply. Today we're in the back room of my store and we're going to talk about making frames. I'm going to show you how to go from here to here and we're going to install plastic foundation and wax. To build a frame, you have to use tight bond glue, 10 one eighth, I meant one and one quarter inch nails, uh, cleat nails, uh, if you're using wax, you use the eyelets and the eyelet punch. We have wire embedders here. We'll show you how to use them. If you choose not to use wire, we can show you how to use the uh, support pins. And this is our wire that we're going to be using today. Uh, you also need a hammer, uh, wire cutters, and I'm right-handed, so I have a right-handed glove. Uh, you, I'll show you two ways you can use pliers or gloves. So I'm going to set this aside, and we're going to start putting the frame together. You want to put glue on both ends of your frame. been easier to do if I put two together. And then you take and it close the glue so you don't make a mess like I did. Uh, you use the top. You mash in the top, sometimes they're a little tight, and then we'll put the bottom in, you want it to be flush here on the ends, you don't want this sticking out or sticking in, you want it to be flush. So we're going to start like this, putting our nails in. It takes two on this side. And we're putting two on this side. going in crooked let's pull it out so it don't come out the side we also uh, have these frames already assembled so you don't have to go through this trouble this one just cracked but that'll be fine because we put glue on it so you still want to put two nails in it we're going to flip it over so that's four nails we've used so far we'll put two on this side Do you sell these nails at your store? Uh, yes, we sell everything uh, you need to put the frames together. We sell the nails in one pound packages. We sell the eyelets. We sell the eyelet punches. Uh, we even sell the tight bar and glue. And what type of nails are these? These are one and a quarter inch nails uh, that you use to put the frame together. We have three size nails. We have five eighths nails to put the cleats back on. We have frame nails, and then we have box nails I'll be showing in the next video. Uh, so that's only eight frames. Where do I put the uh, other two nails? That's only eight nails? That's only eight nails. There's two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I don't know who said it. You're right. The nails go sideways. We put two nails sideways into the hive, into or the into. beef part, not the cleat side. Into the frame into the frame so uh, which if you don't glue glue your frame you definitely need these nails because I don't know how many of you have heard yet about B glue uh, propolis they can propolize this frame in and you pull it and you'll pull the top completely off your frame that's why it's important to glue and nail sideways so we got those in so we want to talk about uh, two other things. Uh, we could do plastic at this point, or we could do wax foundation. The plastic, we have a cleat frame. David, would you use a cleat frame with plastic? I would, and I'll tell you why. I've got a piece of black plastic right here behind me. The black plastic 
you can pop in. Which side are you popping it in on? Well, I'm putting it down in the bottom tray. Mm -hmm. The cleat side is to the camera, so we're pushing in the solid side. And they're a little tough sometimes, but you get them popped in. You want it to go, you know, it's real tight. It's the, the importance of a frame is have it centered. The plastic is centered automatically. The reason why I would use a cleat wedge with this plastic is, say, two years down the road, you don't like to use plastic anymore. You can pop this frame out, scrape all your wax off, pop this plastic out, discard it, and clean the frame up real good, and then you can take this cleat wedge... Take your pocket knife, pop it out, and then we're going to put in the wax. I have one other question about the black plastic. There's a little perforated corner on that. What's that for? Uh, the perforated corner on the black plastic, I forgot to mention. And I don't have my glasses on. Let me look up at the light so I can figure out which one. It's this bottom corner. You can take a pair of pliers. It's at a triangle. And you pop it off before you snap it in. And it goes in the top or the bottom? It goes in the bottom of the frame. And it's a communication hole. And also allows the bees to go from uh, through the frame. Where in natural plastic, they'll actually chew through the wax and make a hole where they want uh, the hole to be. So do you have to pop it out? Um, you, you don't have to. Uh, some beekeepers don't. I have a nail go south on it. So we want to, well now I done messed that up. Okay. We got it back in shape. Okay, so let's get back to our wax. We're going to start with our eyelets putting two eyelets in each side of the frame. It's got four holes in a deep frame, but you only have to put your eyelet in, and I'm using an eyelet punch, and you push it in, spin it, and it stays in. So you pick up another one with the eyelet punch. You push it in sideways, and I'm gonna do two more, one on each side. Uh, to, and all we're doing this for is to center the wax up it's very important for your wax to be centered so when the bees start drawing the comb out, it'll be centered in the frame and the bees can use both sides. The purpose for the eyelets is when we run our wire, which I'm going to do here in just a second. Can you show me what that eyelet punch looks like? Yeah, the eyelet punch has a little groove uh, so the eyelet fits inside and you can push it in the hole and it saves on your fingertips you just do this a whole bunch and that just hurts the fingertips so we sell the eyelet punches so we've got our cleat already cut out so we take our frame uh, cleat nail we need one cleat nail in the dead center of the two holes in the frame You don't want to nail it all the way down. We've got our wire. I just got a kink in my wire. I got it pulled out, stretched out. You want to run the wire through this hole. Run it back down to this end. And the wire is to keep the frame from splitting. See that? The wire or the... The wire, eyelet. Will, the eyelet, is, keeps the frame, the wire from splitting the frame. Okay, I've run it through all the way, then you want to twist this one around. And then this is where the pliers and or gloves come in. You can take your pliers and pull it tight, back up so they can see the string. You want the wire pulled tight and then twist it around or you can use gloves you do not want to do this barehanded 
you can use gloves, pull it tight, and twist it around about three times, and then you drive your nail home. And then you take your wire cut, wire pliers and bend it back three or four times or snip it off with the wire cut. There we go. That pulled out my nail again. So, Okay, so the purpose of the wire is to center the wax. We got a piece of foundation here. You want to pull off your paper from your wax. And this is crimp wire. It's got an L hook. I'll put it right here. And see, these are not perfectly at a 90 degree angle. They're all at all different angles and shapes. You'll see why that's going to mess you up here in a second. I stick my wax between the two wires. I pull it down in the bottom. And this is the tricky part. Because you have all these little wires wanting to stick into the wood. You want to tuck it into your groove in your bottom bar. Okay, now it went into the bottom bar. Okay, I'm pushing this frame into this cleat area. And you see all those wires, they're wanting to make this bow and buckle. So you take a hive tool and you mash the wires down. That one's broke. You want them all mashed in. I didn't clean up the bottom of that frame. You could actually clean it up better if you want to, but you don't really have to. The bees don't mind. Okay, and then I'm gonna have the toward y'all. The This is the cleat. It goes on top of the wires. And I got big fingers, so I like using needle nose pliers to start my nails. So and which I, are these nails? These, these are, are the cleat nails. They're five-eighths of an inch long, and I hold the nail with my needle nose pliers so I don't hit my fingers. And then it takes about three cleat nails to hold that in. So we've centered up our wax. We've made it the half, the comb will be stronger because the wax is centered. And if you ever get honey bound and you have to spin this frame out, I know I've told you in class not to take honey out of the queen's area, but if you overfeed, which a lot of new beekeepers will do, I didn't bit this nail. Um... You could spin it out, save the sugar, water, honey for the bees. And put the wax back in. You mean put the frame back in? The put, put the frame back in the hive so the queen has a place to lay. That would be the only time you would want to take honey out of the queen's hive. The queen brood box. So we get this third nail in here. And you're taking a man-made product and putting it in a man-made product. And so you want to pull your wax tight. Okay. Do you think we're through? Nope, not quite. I'm going to set all this aside. We have a foam board here. It's set up. Your uh, frame goes in this way. The wire is on top of this board right here. It's set up for a shallow, medium, or deep frame. It sits right in. And it sits in at the right height so we can take a wire embedder. We didn't talk about those earlier. These wires running this way are already embedded in the wax. We need to embed this wire and push it into the wax. And this is called a new style and better. And see, it's cold in my shop today, so that's not wanting to stick. Uh, uh, you need to do this in a warm area. If you see that, it don't really want to stick. And I just poked a hole in the wax, which is fine. The bees will fix it. 
So you flip it over and you can use this style and butter here or this is the old style and butter that's been around a long time and this pushes it right down into the wax. And you carry both of those at the store. And we carry both of these at the store. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention, and you know, this is a centered in the frame. Um, it don't look centered because it's not embedded here in the wax because it's cold here in my shop. But I'm going to set this aside. We have a frame with a wax already in and something that we sell in the store for support pins. The support pins will center up the wax on the ends. It's got a split, a groove in it. Can you see that? If I hold it like that over the wood. It's got a groove so it goes in the wax. So you would push that in and then you would line up the wax so it goes on one side and it goes in the other. We're centering up the wax on the edges of the frame, which helps. But sometimes the wax is bowed real bad. You can see here where it's bowed. It'll center up the edge, but the center will still be bowed. So it's not perfectly centered. That's why we like to run those cross wires. Uh, some people run them at uh, an X shape. You can do whatever you want to. It's your hive. Um, I showed you the single nail simple way to do it. But these are support pins. Some people like to do that. Use these. We sell them here at the store. So if someone buys a frame that's already put together with the wax at your store, will it have the cross wires? No, it does not have the cross wires. We will do that for you at an additional fee. Uh, we charge $3 a frame to put the cross wires. And I think after watching this video, you know why we charge that much money. Uh, you can buy the frames already assembled from us. Um, you can put the eyelets in with the wax in. You can run the wire down this side, come out the hole, in the hole, and then run the wire down this side with your nail in the end, and it will center up the wax. Um, so y'all have a blessed day, and we hope to see you soon, and we hope you enjoyed this video.